Hi everybody and welcome to another kit review. My name is Crash Mercer and today we have a lovely Piper Cup PA18 with bush wheels from Revel in 30 second scale. This is uh, kit number 04890. It is a pretty nice kit. You can see the sides of the box. This one, we have some uh, history of a plane, some description of the model in different languages. Here we can see the kit is produced in 2014 from Revel, Germany, licensed by the Piper aircraft. On the other side of the box we can see uh, some basic color callouts and uh, pictures of a completed model. This kit was around 30, 30 bucks and uh, for, the, for the guys in the Europe around 25 euros in the store. You can probably find it cheaper on eBay or Amazon if you, if you look for a good deal. Yeah. So let's look what is it inside the box. Let's put this aside. We have our instruction sheet, typical Rebel, black and white. We have our, our decals and the sprues almost separately packed with the one two three four bags so let's start with the instruction sheet first page we have some uh, history of the aircraft we have a technical specification in german and in english picture of the completed model and some safety issues, some uh, pictogram uh, of our different, uh, yeah, whatever. Next page consists of uh, our color callouts. They are all rebel colors. Some are mixed, some are straight from the bottle. Then we have our parts call out with uh, some parts are not used. And then we going to the building. So first we have our instructions for build building cockpit cockpit sides, cockpit floor, some minor details going on the floor, rudder pedals, yokes, seats, then uh, preparation of our fuselage sides, putting the structure detail, structure detail around the cockpit, putting the cockpit in, sides of the cockpit which are separately molded and then put inside the fuselage parts halves yeah then we have our uh, root of the wing with some ribs placed placed on after that we are going to assembling all the fuselage halves together with a firewall putting the our wing root assembled on the top and the bottom of the fuselage then we have some engine mounts engine and then straight into the assembly of the wheels door for entrance then we have all the parts that are required for completing the the engine 
and the engine hubs, exhausts. And we have some uh, guidance for uh, placement of the engine that needs to be right in the in the in the right center line and the cowlings around the engine. Then we are going to uh, assemble of the wings onto the wing spar or the center section of the wing. Then we have some struts that are holding the wings with some uh, some details there for uh, aileron controls. After that, we are assembling the landing gear and the wheels with uh, some nicely separate molded brakes the rigging of the tail the tail wheel and then the finishing parts assembling of the doors and the cowlings on the engine some antennas and that's it so, Rebel provided us with the paint scheme or the decals for the paint scheme for two separate aircraft. This is one from the US State Troopers from Alaska. You can see that. And also the civilian one, also from Alaska, probably. Probably civilian one, I don't know. I think this is a civilian registration. Okay. So let's go into the parts. First we have the big sprues, the biggest sprues in this kit. So this is the wings and the fuselage halves. So the, fuse, uh, the, the kit is molded in uh, white plastic, which is uh, pretty hard. And that's actually nice because it's easy to sand and to, to have some kit. So the, the surface of the detail is kind of uh, semi-gloss, if, if we can say that. They are trying to emulate the, the fabric covering, which is pretty nice. And also the wings, nicely molded with the nice detail and uh, also the same surface texture as the fuselage halves okay we have uh, some smaller details Okay, here we go. So we have our bush wheels, huge wheels with tundra tires and the uh, wheel struts. But also we have some normal wheels so we can build normal pipe piper cup okay then we have also our landing gear struts with brakes here and some nasty ejector pins but it is a flat surface, so it will be easy to fill. Okay. Then we have our wing spars. Um, no, not wing spars, our wing struts. All molded in the white plastic. Our firewall, ribs for the wings, some small detail for the cockpit 
some structural details, ribs for the fuselage and the fuselage sides, all molded separately. And these ejector pins will not be seen, so that's fine. We have our, is it the floor? I think it's floor, okay. Then, have another bag. We have our seats with seat belts molded into the seat. Not a big fan of that, but it will be easy to send this remove them and make them maybe from scratch building from some masking tape or some other method whichever you prefer but it'll be it will be more realistic if you remove these and uh, make them make them on your own buy them whatever okay this is a rudder the same texture as the wings and uh, fuselage some minor details. Then we have our interior side with some very nasty injection mold. But this everything could be easily removed and sanded. So actually it's not not that big a problem. And then we have our tail section horizontal stabilizers we have our engine cowling here sides I think these are flaps not sure probably propeller yeah and the engine parts all nicely molded spinner and that's it there is not much flash on the whole model so you probably won't be removing that much or sanding it will be fine yep so the next pro is our clear parts Take this. Okay, focus camera. Come on, here we go. So this is the. If you can see, this is the spar, main center section of the wing that goes on top of the fuselage and. This is the, also a part from the top, top of the canopy. The parts are actually nice and clear, very clear actually. You can see that there is no, no big distortion maybe on this front section but it is uh, it is curved but it's normal to to distort something but it's very clear if you can see you can see almost through it if I don't move it so that is really nice and last we have our decal sheet okay let's put this aside with our stencils and some instrument panel not much okay 
so as I as I very love this airplane and we have that in our in our club I wanted to build a regular Piper Cup so I ordered a nice set of decals with some with some uh, usual markings for the white Piper Cup with uh, all the stripes so I will will be building the Piper Cup that that is based in my town was based in my town it's not here anymore because sadly it crashed and it was written off but this decal sheet comes from the kit number 85-5483 it's a rebel kit actually it is the same kit as this one without the bush wheels so I will be building that one also this kit was first released in 2007 and it was reboxed many times you have this one with bush wheels you have also another one with the floats uh, one in German markings I think and it's uh, actually reboxed many times you can see here it says 2014 but it's actually 2007 kit which is actually irrelevant because it's a very nice kit and I think it, it is the only one in one thirty second scale that I know of so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe see you soon and uh, happy modeling and also don't forget to check in the description I will be put putting some uh, nice pictures on my modeling page so you can check the the model in depth. Thank you. See you soon.